Scientific discoveries are being made every day and are responsible for much of what we know about the world around us, from the strange to the interesting to the downright mysterious. Our understanding of how the world operates, whether that be the classification of animals that have inhabited the Earth, previously unknown to man, or fascinating space finds, is based purely on what we have been able to uncover and interpret about the environment around us. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be looking at three interesting discoveries and what they might mean for us and our planet. Bolivian Forest Reveals 20 Species New to Science Sometimes it is hard to comprehend how many species still exist in the world, totally unknown and uncategorized by science. But every now and then a windfall of new species will emerge that reminds us just how much we still must discover about the world in which we live. Recently, a large scientific expedition went into the foothills of the Bolivian Andes Mountains, called Cloud Forest, due to the ever-present shroud of mist cloaking it and revealed an astonishing 20 new species to scientists. The 14-day expedition consisted of researchers from both Bolivian and international institutions and delved deep into the 3,000-meter-high Zongo Valley in the Cordillera Real mountain range. The expedition encountered an astonishing amount of biodiversity within the lush valley and catalogued over 1,200 species total, identifying 770 that had not been found in that area of the world before and 20 that were entirely new to science. Among the species discovered were a new species of venomous pit viper, four new butterfly species, and the Bolivian flag snake. Additionally, the team encountered a species of frog known as the devil-eyed frog, which has only ever been documented once and was thought to be extinct. A frog known as the Lilliputian frog, which measures an incredible one centimeter in length, and a type of butterfly that had not been seen in almost 100 years. Additionally, there were 750 plant species identified, with 13 being classified as newly discovered. Among them were four new species of orchids and two plants that had not been seen in over a century. The discovery of so many species that had not been seen for decades, along with dozens of brand new species, gives the researchers hope in the face of a concerning decrease in biodiversity across the planet. There is now hope that other, pristine natural conditions could exist elsewhere in the world, housing undiscovered and long-forgotten species away from the prying eyes of humans. One of the most amazing aspects of these discoveries is not simply how many species were catalogued during the expedition, but also how close human society is to the location, particularly the large Bolivian capital city, La Paz. Often, discoveries of this nature and magnitude result from daring expeditions into the far reaches of the wilds, where humans are a distant presence who have not begun to encroach upon the landscape. Although La Paz is virtually at the Zongo Valley's doorstep, the seemingly undiminished diversity of the Hidden Valley is unmatched, and officials have taken steps to work with the Conservation International Team and La Paz to perform a comprehensive assessment of the biodiversity within the valley, so that the incredible amount of life flourishing within can be protected. After this expedition, the Bolivian Cloud Forest has certainly established itself as a biodiversity hotspot, and now scientists are concerned with how to protect this pristine space on Earth for posterity in the face of ever-expanding human society. Scientists just identified a new species of Dumbo octopus. The ever-increasing improvements in today's technology has driven many of the scientific discoveries of the age, and the discovery of rare sea specimens is the newest of these technological innovations, which recently allowed for the identification of a new species of Dumbo octopus. This species, which inhabits the dark depths of the ocean, is interesting because of its large, flapping, ear-like fins and strange tentacles, which are webbed and form a distinctive umbrella shape when flared. Within the Dumbo octopus genus are many rare species that scientists have difficulty studying because they live almost 4,000 meters below the surface of the ocean. Until now, those species that were identified were only those who became entangled in fishing nets and inadvertently brought to the surface. However, recently, a team with the University of Bonn in Germany were able to identify a new species of Dumbo octopus, named Grimpotuthis imperator or Emperor Dumbo 
by using only minimally invasive scanning techniques that did not require the dissection of the rare creature. The team was aboard a research vessel operating in the North Pacific Ocean when the strange-looking Dumbo octopus's specimen was inadvertently captured in one of the nets the team was using. Alexander Ziegler, an evolutionary biologist on the ship, highly suspected that it was a new species, but did not want to use the harsh and damaging process required to dissect and catalogue the specimen. Instead, he measured and photographed the octopus and selected a small piece of tissue for later DNA analysis before preserving the creature in formaldehyde for the journey back to land. Once back in Germany, Ziegler used micro-CT and MRI technology to image and scan the octopus and observe its inner organs, eyes and mouth. These techniques allowed Ziegler and his team to identify the defining characteristics such as shell, gill shape, digestive system, heart, nervous system and sensory organs that needed to be carefully inspected to determine if it was indeed a new species. And sure enough, they were able to conclude that Grimpotuthis imperator was in a category of its own. The success of this endeavour has important implications for future taxonomy projects and means that now researchers will likely be able to identify rare and large animal species without having to destroy the specimen by dissecting it. Previously, taxonomists had to cut open the organism that they were studying to remove and analyse its organs. In the case of an octopus, the researchers would then use chemicals to dissolve the tissues around the mouth in order to analyse the beak. These procedures often leave the creatures too dissected and fragile to be re-evaluated should the scientists wish to go back and re-inspect the specimen. Using Ziegler's method of CT and MRI scans to perform a non-invasive analysis of the creature and still be able to determine that it is a novel species is revolutionary for how taxonomists in the future will approach the dissection of species for cataloguing. Additionally, in the case of exceptionally rare species like the new Emperor Dumbo, scientists can maintain the structural integrity of the organism so that researchers are able to continue to analyse the creature for form and function, whereas the previous methods would have left the specimen unable to be studied further after the initial dissection. Researchers hope that these techniques will soon become the gold standard for studying animals like the rare Dumbo octopus. asteroid loops the Sun quicker than any known asteroid. When it comes to the solar system, the closer that objects are to the Sun, the shorter and faster their orbits are. For example, Mercury has a much, much faster orbit than Earth due to its much closer position to the Sun. Recently, scientists have located an asteroid that has the second shortest orbit of any asteroid thus far observed in the entire solar system. In fact, the only body in our galaxy that has a faster orbit is Mercury itself. But what makes this newly discovered asteroid named 2021 PH27 so interesting is that it does not follow a regular orbit around the Sun. Its path is highly elliptical, meaning that at times it crosses the paths of both Mercury and Venus and gets incredibly close to the Sun during its 113-day orbit. In fact, this proximity to the Sun is what will ultimately be detrimental to the asteroid. Already, its orbit takes it along a route which causes it to reach temperatures of well over 400 degrees Celsius. Eventually, its highly irregular path will cause it to be either thrown forcefully out of its current orbit or it will be destroyed by the burning heat of the Sun or a collision with Mercury or Venus. So why does 2021 PH27 matter to astronomers and researchers? especially if it is destined for destruction. Researchers use any scrap of evidence that they can get their hands on in order to understand more about where the pieces of the solar system originated from, and this asteroid is no exception. Scientists suspect that this was likely dislodged from the main asteroid belt, which orbits between Jupiter and Mars, and the gravitational pull of the neighbouring planets are responsible for its strange orbital path. Another theory postulates that, Due to the angle of inclination, it might be an extinct comet originating from the outer solar system that was entrapped by the gravitational pull of the inner solar system planets when it orbited too close. Further study of the asteroid is warranted to fully understand where it came from and what it means, but for now researchers have been able to estimate that it's about one kilometre in diameter. It also gets much closer to the Sun than Mercury and likely experiences a large apsidal precession as a result of the intense gravitational pull of the Sun. 
In fact, researchers believe that it has the highest apsidal precession of any body in the solar system. However, it will soon orbit behind the Sun and will be removed from sight until some time next year. So scientists seeking to study it closely will need to pay close attention in the coming days to attempt to uncover all the answers possible. But what do you make of these scientific discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.